The New South Wales government will spend $95 million on a pilot facility to develop and manufacture mRNA vaccines. And it's a small announcement that was made this morning as part of a broader package of $2.8 billion that will be announced later today for the state to recover. Let's go live now to Gabriella Power. Gabriella, when will this mRNA facility get up and running? Laura, it depends on the approval of a final business case. Premier Dominic Perrottet wouldn't outline a timeline but says that he suspects construction will begin in less than 12 months' time. The New South Wales government is partnering with universities for research and development of the mRNA uh, vaccine and Dominic Perrottet says that this is a big opportunity for Australia. Opportunity for um, our young people as well to be trained, to be ahead of the curve, to be, to be thinking about what are the challenges that will be moving forward. Um, and I think the investment today in with biotechnology, uh, this RNA pilot manufacturing facility, uh, will not just lead the country, but over time lead the world. And I think this is a, a small start, uh, but from this investment today, many great things will come. The $96 million pilot facility will create and trial vaccines. Jobs Minister Stuart Ayres says that it also shows that Australia is open for business. If you want to be engaged in mRNA and RNA technologies, particularly in those emerging markets across the Asia-Pacific region, there is absolutely no place anywhere in the world better than what we've got here in Sydney. If you're an investor and you want to tap into this, then we're saying we're open for business. Laura, in the past 24 hours, 372 cases of COVID-19 have been recorded. One person has died with the virus. And in terms of our vaccine rate, 92.5% have received one dose and 82.3% have received two.